Hello, sports fans. It's me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke. And I'm here with another Washington, actually a, a Washington doubleheader, and this is a real doubleheader. This game um, was actually played on, I believe, April 24th, or these two games were played on April 24th. It was a doubleheader against the Orioles. Now, since the last game that I televised, which was a Boston Red Sox um, game, uh, two games actually against the Boston Red Sox. Since then, we have played two games against Baltimore and we lost both. So we're three and five right now. Uh, Dean Stone took the loss in one of those games, but it was a heartbreaker. He pitched um, eight innings and allowed three hits and one earned run, but we ended up losing the game. And Chuck Stobbs lost the other game. He didn't pitch as well. Um, he pitched six innings, allowed eight hits, and five earned runs. So we lost both games to Baltimore, but now we have two more to complete the four-game series, but this is a doubleheader in the same day. So uh, we will be going into those games, and those are the two games that I will be putting up on the site. So we're going to go in and we're going to, first of all, lower the volume. And then we will get into the games. So you can see right here, this is the scheduled games for Sunday, April 24th. Manual against... Um, the Orioles, both of them. So we have Porterfield going up against Jim Wilson and then Camillo Pascal going up against Irv Palisa or Palika. I don't know. I don't know how you pronounce that. So we are going to um, play day. And we will play the first of the manual games. Um, I am going to be taking Washington, so I'll be the human, and then Baltimore will be controlled by the computer, and we will get going. And of course, there you can see all of the statistics for the game. I just realized that I had enabled this, so... Welcome to the stadium for today's ball game. And I thought I had to sound. Actually, I had turned it up to 100%. So. so we got Jim Wilson pitching to Johnny Groh. And we are underway here. And Johnny Groh leads off for us with a walk. Pretty nice. Pretty nice. So anyway, with the um, what we did here, um, we've got Oravets up next. And he singles. Nice. we got some Ray going here against Jim Wilson. I'm going to uh, hold the runners. Uh, what happened with those losses is that we are, as I said, 3-5, and five, and we are in fourth place now in the American League, but that's not even that good because... Uh, Boston and Cleveland are tied for third with the same record at five and five and uh, Kansas City and Detroit are tied for second so um, we're really effectively in like sixth in the American League so let's see here um, we got Pete Ronald he's a good hitter he's one of our better hitters and he walks we loaded the bases with no outs we better come away with this Real serious runs, and we got a single by Mickey Vernon. I am going to, let's see, what are we going to do here? I'm going to, I'm going to, I don't even, he's a 13 runner not held. I'm going to send the runner. And I'm going to send the trailing runner. And um, I think that was a lot of good stuff that just happened there because there's still no outs. And we got a 2 nothing lead and we got runners at second and third with Seavers up the plate. And Seavers is going to fly high out. But that will score the man from third. And 
And that brings up Carlos Paul. And he's going to fly out question mark, which is probably just going to leave Vernon at second base. So, Valdiviso comes up at the plate, and he's out. So we got three runs, though. We got a, that's a nice, that's nice, you know, three run first. If, that's assuming Bob Porterfield can keep us in this game, and he just allows a leadoff single to Carl Abrams, or to Cal Abrams. And that brings up Willie Miranda. And he's going to get a catcher card X. Hopefully they, he makes the play. And he does, but the runner goes to second. There's one away. And a man at second for Baltimore. That's to Grumball to third. That'll hold Abrams at second. And also get the out at first. There's two down. And up steps Gus Trinidos. He's all flying out. So the Orioles get nothing there. We still have a 3 nothing lead, which is awesome. Bruce Edwards is up for us. And there he is with the walks. The dude with all the walks on his card. Um, all right, here's Porterfield. We're going to let him hit. I'm a big, I hate sacrificing, even with pitchers. And it's a 50-50 game. You've got a 50-50 chance of hitting on the pitcher's card as well as on the hitter's card. Grow is up, and he is going to fly out. And that will be the second out of the inning. That would have been nice, though. If he'd gotten that, it would have driven in the uh, fourth run. Or that first up, he's one for one on the day, and he flies out. So we don't get um, any. Um, we don't get any runs there. So. So we got uh, Dave Pope is batting against Porterfield. In the bottom of the second, and this he gets a solid um, double. That's a nice solid double. So Porterfield has the second man of the game in the second inning at second base. Ground ball back to Porterfield. Hopefully he makes the play, and he does. So there's one down. That's a ground ball B. We'll take it. No complaints. And that brings up Fred Marsh. And Fred Marsh is going to hit double and I'm going to run. So now it's 3-1. And that brings up Wilson, the pitcher. And he flies out to center, who's an... Oh my god, it's Oravets! Oh, but he made the play. Nice. That is... That's crazy. All right, so you got um, Runnels up, and he's going to ground out. We still got a 3-1 lead, but, you know, you can see that easily dissipating. Fly ball to center. He's a 4-4. Pope is a 4. Let's see if we can get it past him. No. So that is two down, and that brings up Seavers, and Seavers is out. Now, all of a sudden, these guys, all these guys got on in the first inning. They can't manage to get on anymore. So we got Cal Abrams hitting the balls, running a little second. And uh, he gets it. He gets him out. And then that brings up Willie Moran. Who hits a single? Porterfield not pitching well here. Dave Philly is going to hit a double. And that, right, let's see if that scores Miranda. I am going to, I'm going to stop the runner from advancing. So it does score Miranda, and it's 3-2, because I let him score. But now Trinidad is going to hit a single and maybe score Philly, but he doesn't. Now we need a double to play. Well, or a strikeout which we got. So, Porterfield strikes out Pope, and that brings Hal Smith. And Hal Smith flies out, but now Baltimore is only down by a run. So that really good first inning and all of that good, uh, feel-good stuff that happened from the top of the first, we don't have it anymore. Carlos Paul is up, and he singles. 
Good to see him get a hit. Val Levito is up, and he strikes out. Bruce Edwards, there it is, just missing a walk, and he hits into a double play instead, so we're out of the inning. We go to the bottom of the fourth, now clinging to just a one-run lead. And Billy Cox batting against Porterfield. He gives up a ground ball to first. That's going to be the first out of the inning for the uh, Orioles. Ground ball to second. Into Runnels. Hopefully Runnels makes the play. And no, the batter beat it out, but the pitcher's up next. He's going to be bunt. And we they get the we get the out at first. There's two down, and then Kelly Abrams maybe knocks in the tying run. No, he doesn't. All right, so Miranda, if you can get Miranda, and he does, Porterfield gets Miranda. We hold on just barely to a one-run lead. And Porterfield's up. I don't really have many options because we have terrible relief pitching. So it isn't like I can bring in a reliever. I mean, I can, but not just yet. Grove is up. Grove. And he's out. And Oravets is up. And Oravets hits a ground ball. And he is out. So we're going to the bottom of the fifth. Clean to a 3-2 lead, and it's not going to last very long because Porterfield is just getting his ass handed to him. Dave Philly gets a single, Trinidad does up, and yeah, he's just really sinking in the joint. So there's a home run by Trinidos, which puts the Orioles ahead now by a run, 4-3. That'll be a fly ball for the first out of the inning. Thank you, Porterfield, finally, for getting a guy out. Dave Pope is the victim, flying out to Oravets. And Hal Smith is up. Hal Smith walks. The only thing in the entire column, and he gets it. And then that brings up Billy Cox. Maybe a hit and run there. We do play the, we get to play at first, first and, and so there's a man second with two out, and there's a single and it might knock in, maybe. I'm going to throw for the lead runner, though. We've got to let the ball go through and play at the play. He scores. So now they're ahead 5-3. They're ahead by two runs, and the pitcher gets out. All right, so we got we to gotta do something here. we got to get back into this. And that's going to be a single to Runnels. That's nice. Single one to five, and we got it. Mickey Vernon. Mickey Vernon walks. Here we go. Starting off just like we did in the first. Seaver teams up. Seaver singles. This is exactly how we started in the first. I'm going to hold them. Not, it's really not a great idea, but we don't have any many options. Don't have a lot of fast runners here. Valdivizio, come on, man. Fly ball center field. Well, that gets a run in. That makes it 5-4. We're only down by a run now. And that brings up from Edwards. And Edwards is going to hit a single. And that might score Vernon. You know, I got a I gotta send. I'm going to send the trailing runner, too. And that is nice. We actually went ahead. They must have thrown the ball away or something. Yep, he threw it away for an error. And now we've got a single and knocks another run with Porterfield. Porterfield helping himself out. So it's 7-5 us now, and Growth is up. And Growth is going to hit a double. Let's see if Porterfield can move. Move it. I like to move it, move it. Uh, we're not, I don't think we're going to do that. We're going to just hold him, hope that or Orr can get a hit, and he can't. But we did take the lead back, 7-5. to five. You don't really want to get in a shootout with another terrible team. We 
like to just steamroller them. They run on ball about two first. Vernon will make the play for the first out. Brings up Miranda. Miranda's going to hit a fly ball to center, center for the second out. And Dave Philly is up. And Dave Philly walks. And that brings up Gus Trinidos. And he's going to hit a ground ball to second. And we are out of the inning, still maintaining our two run lead by the score of seven to five. Over the Orioles, Runnels up. up. Runnels hits a ground ball to second. He three. Let's see if he can throw it away or something. Nope. One away. Moving up. Vernon does not get a home run. He had a home run one to eleven, but it's a fly ball. And that brings up Seavers, and Seavers hits a single. Seavers having a day. He's two for three. That brings up Carlos Paula. And Carlos Paula! No, no he's going to fly out. Uh, one guy, that, um, one of the viewers that watches the Washington games actually made the comment that the splits were going um, Washington's way, which they are, or they were in that game. And, uh, and really, I got to say, for the most part, they are even here. All right, so Porterfield back out to the mound. Again, we don't have a lot of options. But now that, now that we're in the seventh, though, we can start to think about relief, at least. Hal Smith is going to fly out. And that brings up Billy Cox. And Billy Cox is out. So we are still maintaining that two-run lead. Here we are batting in the top to the eighth with Val Blavizo, and he strikes out. Uh, Bruce Edwards is going to miss hitting a triple. So that is two out, and um, and that brings up Porterfield, who strikes out, and who I may actually send back out there for the eighth inning. So let's hope Porterfield can get us get us at least through this inning. And they're going to bring in a pinch hitter, Bob Hale. And he is going to get a single. Man, 1 to 10, 50% chance he gets the single. That brings up the pitcher, and they're going to pitch in for him with Eddie Waitis. And Eddie Waitis is just... All right. I don't know. I mean, we have terrible relief. All right. Uh, yeah, they... You know what? I mean, we just might, might as well... <clears throat> What happens there? We didn't even get the out. Oh, you got to be kidding me. All right, now we got a double play. So that's going to be two outs. But now we're in a 7 7 game. And that brings up Dave Philly with two down, and he's out. But now we allow them to tie the game, and we're going to the top of the ninth. All right, John Gross is up, and he is out. See, now the splits are really not going our way. Oravets is up, and he's out. I got a feeling there's going to be a lot of games like this throughout the season where we could have won because that we just had terrible pitching. Bottom of the ninth, we're going to the bottom of the ninth. I'm going to stick with Porterfield because, I mean, what other real good options do I have? I can't bring a string of relievers in because we don't have relievers that are that good. Trinidos is out for the first out. Dave Hope is up. We have a good part of the lineup, I think, coming up, so that might help. There's two away, and Hal Smith is up. But Hal Smith 
Gets a double. Whoa, he's out. I don't know how that happened. Maybe he was, uh, I don't know. I have no idea. But anyway, he's out. That's the important thing. We go to the top of the 10, burn up at the plate, and he singles. They have Art Shaylock on the pitch. I'm going to say no. Seavers, who's been having a good day, is two for three. He walks. Carlos Paul up. Come on. Singles. Let's see if that scores the run. It won't. But I'm going to hold all runners because we can even take a fly ball or anything. Really. Like Valdiviso up at the plate. And he pulls out. Well, we didn't really need that. One down. Edwards up. And he is going to ground ball plus injury. That's just perfect. All right, so we need another catcher. Fitzgerald, I think, is our catcher, is our other catcher. All right, Porter, I know I'm stretching for the field, but... Um, We got to do it. I mean, this is his first start of the season, so not like he's been doing anything except traveling around with the team. And he does have the first two outs, and they're going to pinch hit for Shaylock. So they're getting into their bullpen, which is probably going to help us too. Fly ball. Now, if we could just get a run. And that's it really that will be it. Yeah, Porterfield's tired. I was going to I was just gonna say that um that's probably it for Porterfield. All right, and that's perfect because he's coming up to the plate, so we will pinch hit for him. They have uh Rakoven? I don't know how you pronounce that name. But anyway, he's pitching. And he is a righty who's a 3R. So a lefty would be great. And of course, that means McDermott. Mickey McDermott. And he will pinch hit. And actually, I could actually bring him in to pitch, but I can't because he's going to be the starter at some point. But he singles. He comes on and he gets a hit. That's what we need. We need to start ourselves out here. Johnny Rowe out, up, and he gets a single. Yes, yes. do you believe this? Um, yeah, I'm going to send the runner. And he makes it. So it's second and third with no outs. They've got to bring the infield in with four of that's up. And he gets a hit. That could knock in two. It doesn't, though. It just knocks in one. But hey, we may take the lead. Eight, seven, I'll take. And that's going to be a hit. And that's going to knock in a run with Pete Runnels. So now I'm feeling a lot better about our chance. It's Mickey Vernon up, and he walks to load the bases. Still, all of this with no outs. And uh, Roy Sievers is up. He hits a ground ball to the second time base. They'll probably run off at the plate. There is one away, and that's what they did. But Carlos Paula might clear the bases with a trouble now. I mean, I can bring in the worst guy we got, whoever that is. And so, yeah, we got five. We got five, five spot right now, and we got a six spot with Valdiviso flying out. And I'm even going to say no, even though he might have scored. And that's Gerald up at the plate, and he's out. Now, one thing I am going to do or look at doing is I'm going to not only replace the pitcher. In fact. In fact, what I'm going to do is 
Does Mc, does McDermott play? No, he doesn't play anywhere. All right. Um, I'm going to put Umflet in at center field for the pinch hitter, McDermott. And then for Oravets, who just batted or batted a little bit ago, I'm going to put in the relief pitcher, and that's going to be Spex Shea. Who will come on to pitch? For his first appearance of the year. Oh. All right. Yeah, I didn't. I guess I didn't say that Horovitz was going to be in center field. All right. So, Spec Shea pitching to Cal Abrams. I'm not really worried about the Orioles getting five runs. Although he leads off by walking the very first bird at her. And that brings up Willie Miranda, who gets a triple one to six double. All right, maybe now I'm thinking runners at second and third, no outs. We're leading 12 7. But thankfully, uh, Dave Philly pops out to first for the first out of the inning. And then Gus Finados flies out for the second out. We're this close being the four and five on the year. And he does get Dave Pope. So Spec Shea comes on, pitches a, compl uh, a, well, a scoreless inning, but I, I wouldn't say he pitched well. So the Orioles are now three and eight. We're four and five. Porterfield with the win, although he doesn't really deserve it. He gave up 13 hits and six earned runs in 10 innings. But we do walk away with the win, and that puts us at four and five on the year. And so we have another game to play today in the same day, and we will do that. And we're going to. I'm going to say play day. And, uh, yeah. And it's us. Pascal's going to pitch for us. Um, Fitzgerald on to catch, which would be true. Although, you know, it, the, our catcher only has to miss this game anyway. All right, so uh, I think we're all set to go. We're ready. There's, you know, all the uh, statistics for the day. And on with the game. And growth leading off. He's going to hit a ground ball and be out. We're going up against Irv Lika, Palisa. I don't know how you pronounce his name. That's going to be a fly ball for events. And then Reynolds is up and he strikes out. Not quite as good a start as we had in the first game. Cal Abrams is up and he walks as. Camilo Pascal walks the very first batter he faces. Willie Miranda up. He's going to hit it in a double play. Nice. That's two down. One, you know, one batter. Two down. And then Dave Philly. And he's going to hit a ground ball to second base, and they are out of the inning. They don't get any runs. Scoreless tie going to the top of the second. Mickey Vernon. Mickey Vernon with the single. That brings up Roy Seavers. Roy Seavers with a line out. So there's one away with Vernon at first. And we're trying to claw our way back up the standings. With Pascal up at the plate. And he gets a single. One to three. And he got it. I'm going to hold the runners. Valdivino is up. He strikes out.
And that brings up it's Gerald. And he's going to ground. And we are out of the inning. Still in a scoreless game. Bottom of the second. Trendos up against Pascal. He lines out. Now watch. This will be a pitching duel. The last game was a huge shout. And this will be a pitcher's duel. There's a single for Dave Pope. So with one out, they have a runner at first. And Hal Smith up. And he gets a single. Two runners on. One out. Billy Cox up. And he's going to hit a double play that's going to end the inning. Thank you, Mr. Sunshine. We go to the top of the second. Pascal batting. He strikes out. Growth is up. It's a ground ball second. That's Marsh. He's a three. Maybe it can get by him. Yes, it can. Or if it's up at the plate, he flies out. So there is... That's the second out. And Pete Runnels runs up. And Pete Runnels hits a double. Let's see if we can, I mean, I gotta try to score growth if I get the option to. Yeah. And it works. And we take the one nothing lead with Vernon up. And he hits a fly to center. He's or let's see if Vernon can get that by him over his head to the wall. And he, he does. And that scores the second run. We're ahead 2 nothing. They're going to walk Seavers. Yeah, that's what they do. And pitch to Paula, who strikes out. Not so surprising. So we got uh, Fred Marsh up. The second baseman for the uh, Orioles hits a single. We're ahead 2 nothing. Let's see if we can hold that lead and not allow any runs. Double play. We see the pitcher's best friend. Pascal pitching. Pretty, he's pitching okay. I mean, for Washington uh, Senators, pitcher of the 50s, he's pitching great. And that's a fly ball to Oravets. So we're out of the inning. Still maintaining our two-run lead. Valdivizo is going to ground out. Ed Fitzgerald is up. He is going to ground ball, ball out. And that brings up Pascal. And he's out. So we get nothing in the fourth. But we're going to the bottom of the fourth still with a 2 nothing lead. Willie Miranda is up for Baltimore. That'll be a ground ball and he's out. Dave is up. He walks. So Baltimore has a man on. One out here in the fourth. They're down by two and they get a single by Gus Rinados. I'm going to try to get the lead on and see if we can get a cheap out. And, and did we? We did. Nice. And then, uh, and then uh, Dave Pope strikes out. So we're ahead two nothing top of the fifth. Growth up for us, and he grounds up. Or is up zappo for two, but he gets a single there. So we got a man on one out, top of the fifth. Seavers up. Seavers with a or run, run, run with a single. I'm going to send the lead runner. We've got to be a little aggressive here and try to get this game. Yes, runners at the corners, one away, Vernon up. And Vernon hitting a ground ball. ball got Chris in a dose. Hopefully it gets by him. And it does. So we got another run. We're ahead 3 nothing. Like we were in game one, and we are now ahead in six, six nothing. Can you say it? Can you sing it with me? Six nothing. So we're ahead six nothing with Carlos Paula up, and he's gonna walk. 
So Palika, you got to figure, is not going to be in this game any longer. Valdivizo up. He hits a fly ball to center. We can get that over Pope's head. Come on. Or in front of him. And it is. So runners are at the corner, still with one out. And Fitzgerald up. And now I guess they're going to come out and get Palika out. And that brings it on Johnson. Not the actor, but uh, the pitcher for the Orioles, who apparently at one time was on the Senators. But Fitzgerald struck out, and that brings up Pascal, and he strikes out. So we got a, we got ourselves a six nothing ball game here. I'm going to immediately go and get. Um, I'm going to get Umflit and immediately put him in in the outfield in center. I'm not even waiting. Six nothing. I don't want them to put away at this. I don't want them getting six front the six spot. There's a single for Hell W. Smith, though, to lead off the inning. And Billy Cox up. Strikeout. So Pascal, he's pitching pretty well. Got to give him all the help I can. There's a single, though, for Fred Marsh. They got two runners on. Don Johnson, though, they pinch hit for him with Jim... Dyke, Jim Dyke, and he gets a single and loves the bases. Uh, unless that run scores. No, it doesn't, but I'm going to keep him out there even though he's tired right now. That's a catcher card. Hopefully it's an out. No, it's an error. Miranda. Miranda. Dang. All right, I'm going to go get a pitcher. Luckily, that was only one run right there. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. But that's a strike out, so there is one out. No, two outs. Two outs. Yeah, let's see if... I mean, there's two outs at 6-2. Let's see if he can get out of the inning. And he can. I was just about to go get a pitcher and take him out, but uh, a relief pitcher and take him out of the game. But, you know, I accidentally hit the thing to start it, and, uh, you know, it worked. So, growth is up top of the sixth. We got a four-run lead. And he strikes out. And Umflit comes up. And he's going to fly out. And that brings results. And Ronalds hits a single. Ronalds, oh, man, he is like our all-star. Vernon is up. He's also one. And he gets a single. Shaylock is on again and getting his butt handed to him by us again. This time there is a double play. play not a double play because there was already two outs. But, um, yeah. Now we are going to go get our pitcher out of the game who is tired at this point and who just batted Seavers no I'm not taking Seavers out of the game there's no way um, well anyway we're gonna we're gonna go with Spec Shea again because he only pitched one inning last game. He did pitch last game, but he only pitched one inning, and that was his first appearance of the year. And he gets a fly ball out of Pope, one deep to the wall, but he still gets a fly ball. And held W. Smith, who's two for two, just what happened there? Exactly. I don't even know. He's out, though. Billy Cox. And Billy Cox strikes out. Spec Shea coming in, slamming the door. Carlos Paul up as the plate. He hits a single. Valdivizo is up. And Valdivizo gets a single. I'm going to send a runner. What's that do for me? Does great stuff. There's runners at the corners with no outs. And that's a ground ball to short. short. He is a one, though. And that's a base hit. How did we get a base hit by a shortstop one? 
Well, now, you know, it's seven to two. I'm going to let Speck chase hit. And he strikes out. And he had actually had a good, pretty good card if he'd hit in the third column. And Growth is up with only one away. And he hits a single. So, yeah, I think we're just dominating this game. I am going to hold all runners. He's a runner nine. Umflit. And Umflit is going to hit it with double play. But that's okay. We're ahead 8 2. And I think Spec Shaken managed to hold on to that for a minute or two. Marsh is up, and he is going to fly out. out. Shaylock, they will certainly pinch hit four with Bob Hale. And he hits a fly ball to Paula. And Abram up. And he hits a single. That brings up William Miranda. Miranda grounds out. And that'll probably be it for Shea, especially with the big lead and only two innings left. They bring in George Zuvernick to pitch to Pete Reynolds. And he's going to ground out. Brings up Mickey Vernon. Mickey Vernon's going to double. Got to love that. Roy Seavers. Roy Seavers hits a ground ball to third. That is, is that a, is that a, no, we didn't get nothing from that. We got nothing, but there's a Carlos Paul single. He's three for four. He's having a day. I am, I'm going to send the runner because I don't think we have an option. Golden. Did they get us? No, they didn't. No, we never had nine now with Paul on first. And will be the third out. We go to the top of the ninth, leading 9-2. Going to take Spec Shea out. Um, and I am going to go with... With who? Let's go with uh, Clark. Oh, wait. Uh, bring the pitcher spot up. Webbo Clark. Up against Dave Philly. And he strikes out Philly. Got in a dose. Walks him. Dave Pope walks him. Hal Smith strikes him out. So he strikes people out and walks him. And there's another walk. So Billy Cox, however, walks aren't going to get you seven runs. Not quickly. And then and the next guy lines out. And so Webbo Clark gets us out of that inning. Barely. We'll go to the top of the ninth and hit against Zuvernick with Fitzgerald. He hits a ground ball short. That's an out. I'm going to let Webbo Clark uh, bat and go out there for the next inning. And uh, Clark gets on my air, grows up. He strikes out, and we got two down. And that brings up Umflit. 
And he is going to double. Hit it to double up. Let's see if Clark can score. Let's see if old Webbo has it in his legs. No. I'm just going to hold him up. Runnels is up, though, and he's 3-5, and he is going to be 4-6. And that is not only that, it's he's going to be a triple and hit in two runs. So, yeah, I think Webbo Clark can handle this. And Vernon is up. We're ahead 11-2, and Vernon walks. See, this is where somebody key gets injured. Seavers is up at the plate, and he's going to hit a ground ball. So we're out of the inning, uh, but we're ahead 11-2. to two. I don't see... Uh, Zubernick is up against Webbo, but they're going to bring in a pinch hitter. Clark Daring. And he walks. Webbo Clark, man. He either walks with people... Or he strikes him out. Well, there he gives up double. And that's going to maybe score a run, isn't it? There's no outs. No, it doesn't score a run. They, they decided to hold correctly. But there's a single that knocks into. Or no, it's only going to knock in one. They're going one base at a time. Ground ball to short Edward Valdeviso. Let's see if he can make the play. And no, he throws it away. So it's 11 to 4. Webbo is trying. And Growth, that's a fly ball to Growth. Let's see if Growth can make that play. And that is one out. So we're ahead 11 to 5. Ground ball to first base. BB. That is the second out, and Hal W. Smith is going to ground out, hopefully to shortstop, if Valdivizo makes the play, and he does, and we are now 5-5. Five and five. We're back to 500. Get the box score, sure. Cancel that. All right. So there you can see, got some guys having good years. Um, and Pascal with five innings pitched, two earned runs. Shea with two innings pitched, no earned runs. And Webbo Clark, two innings pitched, two earned runs. But it was enough, and we are five and five. And that is going to be it for me. Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off.